This is a Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to install GQRX. We go down to the Add Remove software. GQRX. Enter. Search the repository for the Raspberry Pi. You can install programs several different ways on a Raspberry Pi. One is used the GUI interface here. We're going to select our GQRX. Down to the bottom is a short um, discussion of what it is. Second, we can go and visit the project website. Bring up the brow browser. Notice that says 2.11.5. Wow, 2.11.5 release. It would imply that uh, this is uh, really recent. That's a good sign. Typically, the repositories are not up to date. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, well, let's just scan down here. As you can see, it's a waterfall diagram and so forth. So it looks really a great piece of software. We'll go ahead and close it. Require packages. Yeah, quite a few, 222. We also can click on dependency, dependent packages. None. Okay. So let's start the install process. We'll go ahead and hit apply. It's going to ask me for the password. Okay, password is entered. It's not too large, 570 kilobytes. Working on doing the install. By the way, as I'm recording this screen, full screen, I'm also recording my voice on a USB headset. That's what Audacity is over on the right corner here. That will create an audio file. Hey, and we are done, it looks like. OK. Let's go ahead and hit OK here. Next step, I like to do this, is we're going to do a reboot. Now, we've installed GQRX done with the reboot. Let's go ahead and launch it. It's found under the internet. GQRX. I've got an RTL SDR.com version 3 SDR attached to it. When it first comes on you'll be presented with this menu. Originally this was set to a default, but I found that uh, there was two readings. So here's the generic RTL 2838, and here's the RTL 2838 UHID. So I found that uh, the bottom one here was the one that worked for me. So that's, and it fills out RTL 0, which is indicating zero device. There could be two devices in my system. The input uh, rate was 1.8 meg. Leave that alone. Uh, decimation, no, we don't mess with that right now. This is the sample rate, which is equal to the input rate. And these two numbers were left at zero. My audio output is default, and it's 48 uh, kilo hertz, which is DVD quality. Uh, the default is routed to my HDMI monitor. My HDMI monitor has an audio jack out that goes to a powered speaker. So that's the setup that uh, I found to work. Next step is to go ahead and uh, select the frequency. I've selected frequency 103.3. .3. 
that is the uh, FM station KKCW and the nice thing about it it's 95,000 uh, kilowatts so it's almost a hundred thousand kilowatt station so uh, it's fairly powerful in the er lo local area I'm approximately about 16 miles from downtown Portland in the state of Washington so we go ahead and click on the run button up here. Now the uh, most two important controls at this point in time is the LNA, low noise amplifier. Originally this was pegged all the way up here and it gave really weird uh, results. And right now I've got the volume turned down. So I move this down and move this down and what I want to see is between the base and the top to make that as big as possible. So and we we're decreasing it. You notice that as we increase the gain sometime some of the background. Okay, so what we got? Ah, oh, L N A for 4.4 okay now that we got that going next second most important is the audio gain and I found that uh, this if it's all the way up here it gets distorted okay now we're going to turn on the uh, volume to the powered speakers That's about half power. And these are small Logitech uh, speakers, about three inch diameter. Okay, so we'll tr turn that off. So, we've proven that uh, GQRX. 2.11.5 was successfully installed and it's uh, working with the FM broadcast band. Uh, if we wanted to change uh, frequencies we would uh, select and we can see we incremented up and we're basically going down and going uh, scanning through them. Now, one of the things, this is set to odd, so we always want it to be odd. So let's go ahead and turn up the volume and see what we get. Up to 45% on computers with Intel Core processors. Just call 877-BY-DELL. So be aware that the FM broadcast band is on odd frequencies. So it's going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, etc. Okay, this is David, WA9ONY, 73 and QRT.